trimming functions. Let us see the syntax because it, it supports syntax different from Oracle. So you can say uh, describe function trim. So trim in uh, Hive only remove the spaces. It doesn't remove other characters. I think in uh, latest version of Hive, they might have changed. In Spark SQL also, there are capabilities to trim other characters than spaces. But in Hive, I think it only trims spaces. So trim works only to remove the spaces, not everything else. In such case, if you have to remove other characters than space, then you have to write the logic yourself in Hive. But with Spark SQL, you can trim any characters. So in this case, I can just say L trim and then I can pass this string to it. And now the spaces are gone. Quite often, uh, you might want to compare whether data is trimmed or not while processing the data. Then what you can do? You can say something like this. Select trim of order date, comma, to make sure that the data is uh, trimmed or not. Or if you want to get only those records which are trimmed, but not uh, the other ones, you can say like this. Select trim of order date from orders, where length of trim of order date is not equal to so in where condition also you can apply the functions. It's not only in select class, but also in where condition you can apply these functions. Something like this length of order date. So there is no such record where data has to be trimmed. So I just want to show that we can actually use the functions on the, the where class also. Now padding. If you have string like two strings like this, let me say one and ten. And if you want to compare this, sorry, two and ten. If you want to compare these two things, uh, two will be greater than ten. To address this, there are multiple ways to handle the situation. If you just want to compare these two things, either you can convert both these things to integers or you can pad the strings like this into appropriate values so that we can compare. It all depends upon the business use case. Typically, from the backend perspective, it is good practice. So let's say there are three fields in a database. Let me use sublime text here. So we have uh, year, month, and date. So records might be like this, 2017, two, three and then another one 2017 10 1 so if you compare these things as numbers this one will be greater if you compare these things as strings this one will be greater so if you just typically when we store data like this in the database how will we store we'll be storing as integers when we have to compare what we have to do is we'll be doing like this order by so typically we want to sort the data so what we can do we can say order by year then month and then date then you will be getting the data in ascending order without any issues. But when it comes to front end, the user interface, even though data is represented like this, it will not be good if we display data just like this. We have to convert into something which is appealing for the users. What we have to do, we have to concatenate the data from all these three fields and then we have to present in the user interface. From the back end, when we have to sort the data, we can just do like this. There is no issues, it will work. But if someone is running a query to convert this data to present on the user interface, you cannot just display year is 217, month is 2, date is 3. It doesn't look good. What we have to do? We have to transform this data into something like this. 2017, 02, 03. Okay. Again, on the front end also, they might want to sort the data. Then if you present the data like this, if they display like this, on the front end side, when they sort, it will it will be sorting done on the uh, user interface itself. There will not be there need not be a database query, and it will sort fine. Sometimes we, we might also want to present data like this. If it is two two thousand seventeen two and data as three, we might have to convert that to something like two thousand seventeen Feb three or zero three. Okay. So from the user interface perspective, we might want data in a particular way. From the data processing perspective on the backend, we might want to represent data in a completely different way. So if you have date separated like this in year, month, and date, and if you have to present data something like this so that it is meaningful to the front end, we have to make sure that this is converted to this. Okay. So let us assume that there is a date like this and we want to convert into something like this. One more function which we have to highlight is concatenation. So there is a concatenate or concat function. Let us see the list once and determine what is the function name. It's concat. In some cases, it's concatenate. So I just want to confirm. And also there is an operator. Operators are for numbers. We have arithmetic operations. Everyone is aware of that. So either we can use double pipe like this or we can use concat. So in this case, I'm trying to convert this to this. So I have to use concat along with the pad. Okay. And it is quite common that you have to manipulate the data using multiple functions in one shot. Select either you can say concat and then 
you can give the date and then the character you can use single quote or double quote for the string after that again you have to concat this with i think let me see the syntax of concat i can pass multiple things in one shot i guess describe function concat you can pass as many strings as you want so you can just say select concat in oracle it doesn't support you have to use pipe double pipe for this there's a function called concatenate also i guess but it takes only two arguments part of it but here you can pass as many arguments as you want so you can say 2017 and then hyphen and then two and then hyphen and then three to concat all these things and it will return a string but it will have single digit month and single digit date now i want to use zero also before this so you can simply use this if it is single record like this but in your database you will be having multiple records and you have to deal with those records which already have data like this for example you have 10 10. if you already have data like this while concatenating i don't need to prepend with anything so here l pad comes into picture now let us see the l pad function it takes the string and the length to which you want to pad the data and the padding character Typically, this length should be less than or equal to your string. If the length is greater than this, then you will see incorrect results. So the length has to be greater than or equal to the actual string. The length should not be less than the length of the actual string, which we are trying to pass. So in this case, if I pass two to it, and then I want to have two characters at the max. I don't want to have more than that. So I have to use that. And then I have to pass the string using which I want to pad. Now you see it became zero two. The same thing if I give 10 here and the number of characters has to be two, already number of characters in 10 is already two and hence there won't be any padding done. Now coming to your concat function, in this case, what you are supposed to do, you can say L pad of two. Typically in the place of two, we'll have the column name. In the place of year also, we'll have the column name. In the place of three, which is date, also we will have the column name. We will not have hard code values like this okay then you can say two comma zero and then l pad three comma two comma zero and hit enter you see you got the date the way you want and these are the results which will be passed to the front end so this is the business use case the most common use case where l pad will be used is if your date is represented as integers for whatever reason inside the database and if you have to display appropriately in the front end then we typically use L pad. R pad is rarely used. R pad, we have to, if you want to pad on the right side, then we use R pad.